what makes prayer powerful is the word compliancy of that prayer what makes prayer listen carefully powerful is the word compliancy the degree to which that prayer aligns with the word of God because I told you God's power only follows what he says are we learning yeah so when you see prayer producing results it is because the word of God has been connected to that prayer and it will commit God's power to bring to pass but it's important to understand so we've been given power over elemental forces the sea the air the earth are we together now this is very powerful there are certain oh dear, there are certain dimensions of power that was given to all men not believers for instance a farmer does not need to be a Christian to draw the power of God that is deposited in the earth I told you that there are three levels of God's power the highest dimension of God's power is attracted through intimacy you must encounter him to have that dimension of power the second dimension of power is hidden in principles it is not relational it, it is a function of light are we together if you know it whether as a businessman whether as a politician you can build a great nation even though a godless nation like Babylon God respected the building of Babylon they used his very power to build something that was against his will and yet the nation of Israel as anointed as they were they could not build anything till David arrived you read the story they had encounters but they did not understand the power enshrined in principles and it was David that gave stability and establishment to God's people power over unclean spirits verify that a spirit is unclean before you rebuke it there are many many spirits that are clean a human spirit saved or unsaved cannot be called an unclean spirit because Jesus died for everyone and there is hope for he that is joined to the living that means a man who is Saul today can become Paul tomorrow so you still cannot rebuke the man even though he's unsaved you can only pray for his salvation unclean spirits are spirits that have been verified by God's verdict that there is no salvation for them it is for such that when you administer the power of God in the name in the name of Jesus they leave I give you power over unclean spirits are we following find someone to wrap up now then you have power like I said over situations and circumstances and now it is I told you that everything that has to do with the administration of power please do not forget this is with respect to the will of God because if someone is saying rain stop and another person is saying Lord send rain I need to eat you see that there are two people who are in conflict so I am praying right now and say father please bring rain in Port Harcourt. this year I must eat my children will not die of hunger if another person say Lord let rain stay because I'm anointed as sincere as those things are the one that will be answered is not the one who prays more it is the one who partners with the will of God for that moment everything in the kingdom revolves within the sphere of the will of God if you remove the will of God out his power has no ministry the assignment of the power of God is to bring all things into his will are we together the moment you are outside of the will of God the power of God has no ministry it is the reason why the power follows the word because the word of God is the clearest revelation of his will so before I pray for the sick there must be an understanding I don't need to recite it to his hearing it's a consciousness what is the basis of that person getting healed is it consistent with the will of God that is how I know not by feelings I don't have to feel anointed this is an issue of integrity here so I know that it is God's desire for that man to be healed and now I can pray for that person believing that the power of God will follow his will can I tell you many believers have their lives in shambles because they do not respect the will of God so they cannot see the power of God they are fasting against the will of God they are praying against the will of God it's him Jesus said father let me show you Jesus the greatest manifesto of the power of God if it be thy will or he said take this cup off me he says nevertheless ah, because if I find myself in disalignment to your will I can no longer be called the word of God 
I hope he knew he was tempted in every way. So he could have lost that status as the word of God. He was not just called the word of God because he was a word incarnate. It was because he ensured that his life was always in sync with the will of God. Now he had a chance to be thinking differently from what God wanted to do. But he said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Nevertheless. In fact, here's what he said. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and finish it. Can I tell you? The greatest people who will manifest the power of God in this end time are those who will pay the price to know the will of God. Looking for power is useless until you understand the will of God. Because the assignment of the power of God is to bring all things into the will of God. Then to execute the will of God to make it happen. Hallelujah. Is it God's will for me to prosper? I check from scripture. If that is true, then I know for a fact that there must be a dimension of his power allocated for bringing that will to pass. It is now my assignment to find out. I'm not in doubt. It is no longer will God bless me. It is finding out how. Every time, listen, oh dear, do we have time? I have to give Pastor Jerry room to come and preach. But let me teach you something. The moment the will of God is about to come to pass in your life. Watch this. The power of God will also depend on the wisdom of God. If the wisdom of God is not revealed, the power of God cannot work accurately. Watch this. Please listen to me. It is the wisdom of God that guides the operation of the power of God to make it manifest profitably. The Bible says to the Greeks, Christ is revealed. Christ, the anointing, is revealed as the wisdom of God and the power of God. So when God wants to help a man to truly walk in power, even if you pray for power alone, it's two things that will arrive in your life. Power and wisdom. Wisdom is what gives value to the correct use of power. Are we together now? Because the dynamics of operating power is that until you have wisdom, you cannot. Let me show you, then we'll pray. Ephesians chapter 2, please give us from verse 16. Paul is praying. Let's see the content of his prayer. Ephesians chapter 1, in fact. Verse 16. 1. Chapter 1, please. Ephesians 1 and verse 16. Can you give it to us? Thank you. He says, I cease not. He's praying now to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. What is the content of the prayer? 17. Help us, media. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, watch this. The Father of glory may give unto you. What is the first thing? That whole journey will end in power. But he said he will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Next verse please. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. Number one. Number two. What is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Shout verse three together please. Ready? One to read. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power the bible says according as his divine power have given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness but the administration is through the knowledge hallelujah wisdom the wisdom of god is very powerful many people have prayed for power but they have not prayed for wisdom so they have the power but then they are not able to manifest power and authority because there is no wisdom. Do you know that even if Elijah, Elisha prayed over the woman, remember the woman in, in uh, Second Kings now? Hallelujah. The wife of the sons of the prophet. Do you know that even though he prayed for her, if he had spoken prophetically over her and there was no wisdom, she still would have remained in debt. It was the prophetic word that made her to even go and find vessels to borrow in the first place. If he did not prophesy, nobody would give her any vessel. It was not a product of her creativity. And then she comes and he gives her a strategy. That is wisdom. Now I've released power up for multiplication. But the power depends on vessels, capacity. You see, this is the reason why those who are not enlightened, if you impart power over them, they will look like they are fake. Because the use of the power is not with wisdom. 
have you seen somebody with all due respect manifest power and somehow you, you are you are there is no wisdom gives beauty to the use of power are we together now yes it is the mistake if you study the history of the church in nigeria this was the mistake many fathers with all due respect to them some dead and have gone to be with the lord they prayed and they access power but many of them did not access wisdom through the word so they in administering power they brought many things that were prophetic experiences and made doctrine out of them because wisdom was not there to separate personalized dealings and things that were doctrines are we learning now so when you have the power of god and you have the wisdom of god you will manifest dominion and authority intelligently in a way and a manner that brings glory to the name of the lord let me do a recap and then we'll pray number one we define power as the capacity to influence outcomes we define power as the force that compels compliance number two we define authority as the right to represent the legitimacy to use power that if you do not have authority the use of your power is illegal as seen in the case of a military man and an armed robber an armed robber has power but he lacks authority why because there is no the institution that authorized him is not there cannot be identified and the jurisdiction for the use of his rifle is also not there i told you that authority is always jurisdictional and that jurisdiction is defined as a sphere the sphere where the use of power is allowed beyond which it becomes illegal i need to recap one last time on very strong points that i made for your understanding number one that man does not have absolute power no he cannot have absolute power because his power is derived are we together only god has absolute power and in fact i did say that he is the owner of all power that's what makes him omnipotent is an attribute of God that he did not share with man I forgot to tell you that it's not everything in God's nature that he gave man we are partakers of his divine nature but not every aspect of his nature there are dimensions of his nature he withdrew from man that's what makes him God his omnipresence his omniscience and his omnipotence these are the three attributes of God that brands him in a class all by himself man did not receive that one 